Hello everyone, Farm Ferdi here and I would like to make a quick update on my previous how to make the clutch cables at home um, because there has been a lot of comments, really good ones, uh, pointing out what I should use to make them last longer and I also found some uh, new gear to make the clutch cables better. I always run two clutch cables on my bike because when one snaps I can just quickly swap it and I don't need to disassemble anything. So most of these cables which I usually got second hand uh, and made them and fixed them at home are routed as the secondary ones uh, because clutch cable usually lasts quite long unless you use for example um, aftermarket brake uh, clutch levers and usually they eat up the clutch cable over there so this one snaps. So this is my amalgamation of different uh, kits really I have few of them slinky glide is one of the popular options but these no-name ones work exactly the same way every uh, kit has a clutch cable and a throttle cable they already come with the ends soldered onto them which makes possible to fix the clutch cable only with these adapters and the most important adapter is the uh, for the clutch lever and it's a cylinder with a hole and a screw. Installation super easy. You just screw it on, um, tighten very hard uh, so it doesn't pull off. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. And that's how the cable um, looks like. So you obviously slot it first into the <laughs> into the bovden. So uh, that's one thing. But the the kit also um, contains a little bit more permanent option, and that's this. Um, this little guy and uh, the end. So this one gets soldered onto the cable and then it slots in like this, basically. So the cable would go in here. Now this is the very, very similar principle what we are gonna do now, which is to make completely new um, cable. It is completely doable and almost anywhere in the world they would do it for you we just need to keep the outer part of the clutch cable and then two millimeter stainless steel uh, cable with length of 102 centimeters 0.5 and we need to have these ends and these are my new flashy ends which i really really like so this is um, um, the correct size is 8.9 millimeters and 2.3 millimeters hole and it's like, it's this brass, pretty cool looking thing. They are quite expensive. They cost two euros, but um, comparing to the price of the new clutch cable. So this is going to go onto the um, lever side. And then obviously, like this, um, right? Now, obviously on other side, we also need something. So we can use uh, the end from the emergency kit. Uh, which would go in and that would work very well and I use that. If you are somewhere where you don't have it, this is really interesting piece. This is from the clothing uh, clip or how to call it. This is one part of it and I bought that one in Bosnia and fixed the clutch cable with it and it works exactly the same way as all these three options. The advantage of this is that you can get it anywhere in the world. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then just uh, solder, uh, lead one. Now, really, really cool. And that's from the comments and it's also from the research on the internet. So this is something which, um, for example, in Kyrgyzstan is called strong water. And in, in Romania, I think it was called strong water as well. And people in garages usually have it because when you want to solder something and you want it to last, you need to use this one. Uh, this is uh, especially for the stainless steel um, uh, soldering and it's the, um, what is it, it's a zinc chloride, I think. And what it does, it makes a chemical reaction, it's kind of acid, which will roughen the surface of the uh, cable and will uh, allow the solder to last much better. And that's all what you need, really. This is just a brake cleaner, just clean it first. Now comes the time for the strong water. Okay. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to put it on. And now I'm going to apply the strong water. 
and you can see that it's actually bubbling a little bit. It's like a white foam. That's it. That's how it should look. Um, really matte finish, uh, shiny finish. And what you want to do is spread a little bit the threads out. And now I just need to solder. Use a powerful iron because you need a little bit of a heat. So uh, I'm, I made sure that this solder is all the way inside. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a little bit on top in here. So what we want to do is we want to fill with solder all this area in here, uh, but not go over the edges so it can still move very freely in the um, hole for the uh, end. That's really important not to overfill it. And this is the result. This is the lever side and this is how it should kind of look like all the area very really nicely filled in uh, with no over filling and on this side i left a little bit of a cap um, in here and uh, that's going to be on the engine side so that's all uh, what it is to make the clutch cables uh, the most important thing is uh, good soldering good solder uh, quality ends um, and um, the strong water really uh, you can buy on internet this one as well as this one for a specific diameter of your clutch cable and carry them with you anywhere in the world uh, they will solder them for you so that's it to make the clay the that you and last uh, what